Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver and Crystal. In this video, we are going to visit the Lake of Rage for the first time, so let's go. Bye. Okay, I, I know I'm a bit unkey, and I think you guys are probably going to hate me for that, but <laughs> I cannot help it. This thing is so catchy. Anyway, let's go fight this guy. I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. Okay. Show me, dude. So I can crush them all. It's basically my new saying, gotta crush them all. <laughs> Get it instead of catch them, catch them all. It's crush them all. I don't know if you guys get it, but um, let, let, let's just keep going. Ah! Seriously, this thing again? All right, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch because I want to get that accuracy out of the way and switch to Sobolo. In the meantime. Go get him. Nah, let's go, sir. Let's go, Brutal. Nice. Alright, is that bad? That's fine. We'll go ahead and use Noctile again. Alright, go pick it. Nice. Losing isn't fun at all. It sure isn't. What is going on with the Lake of Rage? You were planning to camp there. Oh, and guys, whatever you do, do not, I repeat, during the, um, uh, until uh, the red Gyarados is gone, uh, do not enter here, because if you do, this is what's gonna happen. Hold it there, kiddo! The total is $1,000 to go through. Thank you very much. Oh, and if you don't actually, um, if you don't actually, um, exit yet, you might want to talk to these rocket grunts, because, uh, they say something pretty sinister. Yeah, <laughs> we're making a bundle. Everyone wants to see what's going on at the Lake of Rage. Yeah, sure. Oh, and don't, uh, if you wonder why I'm skipping this guy's dialogue, it's because it's basically the same as that one. So, yeah. I actually, now I'm actually curious on, um, what they're gonna say in the remake, because, uh, I have no idea, um, if they actually say the same dialogue or not, but we'll see. Alright. Would you get this? Some silver guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great! No, oh, brother, not this guy again. Okay, why would silver make fun of this Nitto King? I mean, it looks very strong, it's very... It's very good. Well, it... Well, trained and everything. But still, it has some good attacks, good defenses. Wait, is it good at defenses? I'm not really sure about the stats, but we already knocked it on one hit, mostly because it's weak. Not that I'm going to make fun of it or anything, since it is a great Pokemon. But Nino King did pretty right on. Yeah, if you train it. It's okay for people to like different types of Pokemon. Pokemon isn't just about having the most powerful one. I mean, yours is kind of powerful once you train it up some more. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. Oh, then while you're at it, let me fight you. Alright, then let's see what you got. Slowbro? Okay. Hey, no fair! I want to actually fight with my Slowbro. Alright, I forgot I leveled up this Noctowl. All right, your move. All right, not that I'm actually gonna. Well, I'm 
can't actually use headbutt on you. I thought I still had tackle, but I guess not. So off. I can do that too, you know. Ah, you want to have a water gun competition? Let's go! I ain't scared. I ain't scared of our disadvantaged stuff. We'll see who has the stronger water gun. Nice. How could you do this to me? Hey, I fought with my own spell, bro. What else do I like besides Pokemon? Mary on the radio? I bet she's cute. Yeah, brother. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, switch to Slowbro, considering the fact that he's next. And yes, I still need to train Chucky, because uh, he's a little behind. But let's go ahead and go on to the side. I want to show you that, that side in the remakes, but um, I don't think that we're going to be able to... I don't know if the remakes actually have this secret thing anymore. I'm not sure. I, it, it's been a while since I've been there. I'm pretty sure they do, but just in case they don't, I'm going to show it to you in here. And at least in the remakes, we can actually see what's on the other side. And don't worry, I don't think there's going to be any more wild Pokemon after this. Oh my gosh, it's a Farfetch! Okay. If you guys are interested in a Farfetch, and you don't have the remakes, there's one right there. And we are going to drown this bird. I know it sounds brutal, but, uh, when is Pokemon not brutal? Especially the next game coming out, that's pretty much going to be brutal. I really can't wait to play it. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Alright. I forgot this guy was here. Alright, Marvin, what you got? The magic- Really? This thing? Are you serious? Honestly, I could headbutt your magic cards all day. Oh, you actually have a Gyarados. Finally a challenge. Go confusion it. Alright, head bud. Another Gyarados, that's fine by me. The more Gyarados, the more EXP I can get. See ya! Yeah, nice. I lost, but I feel better anyways. Ah, good to know. Curse Lurbar is the best for catching quick Pokemon. It's much more effective than an Ultra Ball. Hmm. Really? I'll keep that in mind. And while I'm at it, I am gonna get this Magmar going. Just in case there's wild Pokemon here, and no? Okay, let's go. Alright guys, so we're at this part of the Lake of Rage, mostly because, um, there's some secret stuff you could get in here. So, while further ado, let's go ahead and cut the tree. And open the path of the secret entrance. Okay, I don't know if it's actually a secret entrance, but, uh, whatever. And hopefully we don't get lost in the process, but we'll see. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's an item here. Last time I checked. And I was right. Okay, actually a TM. Oh, 
Okay, I, I should stop. I'm getting way off key at this point. I cannot help singing this, or at least humming, or whatever, or making the noise to this thing. It, it, the, the music is just so good. You know what, just in case. Okay, don't ask how I did that. I just had a feeling that if there's gonna be, like, some dead ends, at least check for, like, secret items. Cause who knows if they're actually there. And speaking of, maybe, just maybe, I could check over here. I knew it! And who needs an item finder? Alright, what do you got? Hello, this is Todd. Chris, what are you doing? You must be a lot better now, huh? How about showing me your technique in a real battle with me? I'll be waiting on Route 34. See you later. Alright, I'll fight Todd later, but right now, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, there's nothing there. Now, about that thing that I saw... No, I think that's where I- wait, did I already go there? Was there another pathway? No? Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, so as you saw, there was a house, so let's go inside, shall we? Wait, is there any items? No? Okay. Here, straight far. Here, I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokémon. Take this, child. Okay, thanks for the TM. Do you see it? It is hi hidden power. It draws out li the po power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. Its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. Alright, good to know. Okay, so now that we got that going, uh, let's see the difference from it, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to have Chris get out of here on her own, but until then, while she's trying to get out of here, let's go see what Ethan's up to, shall we? And would you look at that, Ethan is on his way over to the Lake of Rage as well. And about to fight a trainer. I can do so much with my Pokemon, it's super fun. Alright. Tell me what you got, Spencer. Would stand true? Get him, Gibeon. Use Bite. Seriously, the thing actually stayed. Or this thing actually hung on. Alright, so bad. Let's go ahead and switch because I forgot to check out of the Umbreon. Or not check out of the Umbreon, but uh, switch to Lapras, who's uh, pretty much about to level up as well. Wow. Guess we'll burn everything with Typhlosion soon. Ice Beam it. Alright, Sand Flash, keep going, we're good, we're about to drown this thing. Alright, Surf Sub Sand Flash, you're about to drown. Losing isn't fun at all. Yeah, it sure isn't. What is going on at the Lake of Rage? We're planning to camp there. Don't know, dude, but all I do know is that we are going to... Okay, I know I said I didn't want to do the gay because we already did that in the thing, but uh, since we're here, let's go ahead and actually pay the toll. Huh, new uniforms. That's nice. Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is, is $1,000 to go through. Thank you very much. Sure. Oh, they do say the same thing. I actually went to the centrist for nothing. They robbed me for nothing. How could they? Typhlosion, you want to burn them? Seriously? You're not saying anything about what they did to us? You're not going to burn them? Or do you want to wait until we actually, you know, go to the uh, their hideout soon, if you know what I mean? Okay, now is not the time. Now is not the time for cuddling. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get this Max Other 
and so forth. And I think there's a trainer or two in here. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. You know what? I'll go fight those. Ah, uh, let's just fight them over here. Honestly, I cannot make up my mind right now. All right, Lapras, let's go. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? Uh, there's a Lapras. If you want it, you have to you have to beat it, Brent. And you're near the arena, Lapras. You sir. Nice. Uh, what's that? Nidorino? <laughs> Alright, Kyglosion, you're up. Go burn him. Look at that thing. So vicious. So destructive. So overkill. Oh, my poor Pokemon, darlings! By the way, you're a Pokemon maniac, I can tell. Yes, you are, but you're not like this is still. Do you know Bill? He's an incredible Pokemaniac. I revere him. I'll teach you all I know about Bill, so leave me a number. Alright. Bill is more than amazing. To be a Pokemon maniac like him someday, that's my dream. I am not answering you, Mom. You suck in this game. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going. Whoops, wrong button. Are you going to like a rage too? Let's play for a little while. Alright. Let's see what you got, Tiffany. A fairy, huh? Too bad I'm gonna burn it. Lava plummet. too much? Uh, no you didn't. It's me that played too much. Hi, you like Clefairy too? They're so very cute, aren't they? I think we can be good friends. I wouldn't know your phone number. Let's talk about Clefairy. Eh, alright, fine. Isn't my Clefairy super adorable? Yeah, as long as you don't actually shove it in my face. You know, rub the, rub the, everything about your Clefairy stuff in my face. Because that gets pretty annoying. Whenever you talk too much about, like, the certain thing that you like so much in front of someone who barely knows it, that's pretty much going to get annoying. So, hopefully she does not do that while she's on the phone with me. Alright, let's go. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I keep on collecting Pokemon. Ah, oh, that's nice. Fight me. Beckett. Alright, I think we can still make do even though we're at a huge disadvantage, so let's look it. Nice try. Goodbye. Hey, that actually rings. Alright. How could you do this to me? What else do I like besides Pokemon? Mary on the radio. I bet she's cute. Oh, brother. Everyone crushing on me Mary. Would you get this? Some red-haired kid made fun of my precious Pokemon. Hm, my Pokemon's great. Huh. Okay, so in the remakes, they actually mention... Or the originals, they actually mention the red-haired kid, but in the remakes, they don't? That's kind of messed up. But at least this Pokemon's a bit more trained than the originals. My Nino King was outstanding. Yeah, if he trained it a bit better. And it's okay for people to like different types of Pokemon. Pokemon just isn't just about having the most powerful one. Yeah, you pretty much just, you know, fight with your favorite Pokemon and so forth. 
Like, you don't need the strongest of the bunch, unless you're actually doing competitive battling, but... Um, I suck at that anyway, so, uh, we're skipping that. Alright, another Pidgeotto, let's go kill it. You know, come to think of it, I could have used the move, um, Ancient Power since it still has it, but, uh... Uh, my brain was somewhere else. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a chase of pace. Alright. Let's see, Marvin. You got Magikarp, Gyarados, Magikarp, more Magikarp. Let's go. Extra sensory. Alright, keep battling, we're good. Wait a minute. Does he only have three Pokemon? Oh, that explains it. The Gyarados is actually level 20. In that case, goodbye. Hey, you're supposed to die. Edgy. Okay, why isn't this Gyarados dead? I literally gave him ancient power, and he was supposed to die. Go die. Thank you. Hmm, nice. Alright, extra sensory. But you guys can actually see the trainers uh, have different teams in the remakes. Like, uh, there was another Gyarados here, uh, but it didn't show up in the remake, so yeah. I lost, but I feel better anyways. Alright, good to know. Curse Lurbo is the best for catching hook Pokemon. It's much more effective than Ultra Ball. Alright, so I pretty much stay in Sendo, so let's go ahead and head to the Lake of Rage, and oh my gosh, it's raining like crazy. This never happened, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to have access to this base until after we get the Gyarados. So yeah, alright, I'm going to go ahead and, oh wow, it actually stopped raining. I don't know, shall we do the Gyarados? I mean, we have enough time, so... We might actually, come to think of it. Okay, so here we are at the Lake of Rage. It's a lot, um... Wow, it's like insanely wet. This never happened in the originals, actually. Wow. Oh my gosh. I've never seen it like this. Like, that's insane. Alright, I heard this lake was raided by Rampage Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to the mass outbreak now. I don't know, but it seems to me that it is insanely wet and rainy. Do my eyes see me? I saw red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage, but I thought Gyarados were usually blue. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. Wow, look at that Gyarados in the background. Okay, in the originals, it doesn't actually move. The Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by Rampage and Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed. And that's a story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively magic up here, but I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand either, dude. But, you know what, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, catch this Gyarados in the next video, because, um, in the next video, uh, something, um, something intense is going to happen. So, until then, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.